Hi guys, I'm Rebecca Bryant. I'm the Senior Director of Marketing Strategy at Rhythm um, here at CES 2024 um, with Stagwell. Really excited to bring EV Box here to the booth today. And um, I'll go ahead and let John introduce himself. Awesome. Hey everybody, my name is John Miller, Head of Sales and Marketing for North America with EV Box. Very excited to be here at CES 2024 and have this conversation with uh, Rhythm and Stagwell. Perfect. So let's jump into it. I'm cool. really excited to hear like what has CES been like for you, you know, so far. Awesome. Well, we're on day two uh, mm -hmm. here of the exhibitions at CES, and I did get the chance to walk around a little bit yesterday. Uh, it's great to see the crowds coming back uh, to, to sort of feel the energy in all the different spaces. Uh, we got to ride the Tesla Loop between the convention centers, and uh, it, it's it's really incredible just to see overall how. Uh, some, some pretty major trends from 2023 are impacting the show and, and what we see going forward. Awesome. I love to hear that. Yeah, it's been very exciting to come. So I've, let's jump in a little bit more about EV Box. Like, tell us, you know, what are some of your biggest differentiators? You know, sure. I know there's a, a lot of EV charging companies out there. Like, what, what makes you guys unique? Awesome. So EV Box is a global manufacturer of EV charging stations. We've been around for almost 15 years. Um, we're really excited about some things that are happening in the North American market. Uh, we have a production facility just north of Chicago and Illinois where we're launching uh, our first DC fast charging product here in North America. Um, when, we, when we think about what differentiates us, uh, there's obviously a lot of choices right now in the marketplace for EV charging hardware. Uh, EV Box in North America specifically is truly software agnostic. Uh, so ultimately, we want to be a supporting, a supporting actor, if you mm. will, in this transition uh, to, to electric mobility. Um, and uh, we're, we're very excited about uh, this year. Excellent. I love hearing that. that. It's super exciting. What are some of the largest challenges you guys have had to deal with in the last year or so? Yeah. So. Uh, the industry at large has, has faced a number of challenges. Um, when I think about, one thing comes to mind uh, for sure, and that's you know the availability of power in, in the places where we need it, right? So when you think about, especially fast charging for electric vehicles, uh, you need quite a bit of power availability from the utility at, at any given place. Um, and, and all of us in the industry are sort of facing mm. this challenge together. Um, there's a lot of really smart people working on it across many verticals and different industries. Uh, so it's something I'm sure that we will come up with some great solutions for, yeah. but uh, I'd say that's one of the biggest hurdles for us right now. That's, that's an interesting hurdle for sure. <laughs> what is, how are you guys, you know, what does that vision look like? So you, knowing some of the challenges you've had to go through, how does that impact what, you know, 2024 and even beyond looks like? Yeah, so for EV Box, uh, especially in North America, as I mentioned, we're launching a, a fast charging product. Um, it's a modular product. It, it's really um, well equipped to serve a number of use cases and, and verticals in the fast charging space. And, and I'd say our biggest focus in the next three, six, nine months is, is really getting that product out there, getting it launched, not just from a physical perspective, but also making sure that um, we're in a really good position to, to service that product once it's out there and it's deployed and it's in the ground. Um, you probably heard a lot of folks in the industry talking about uptime and reliability of charging stations. You know, I'm an EV driver. I have been for seven years. Um, and, and I know very personally the pain of showing up to a charging station and it, and it not working and I really need it, right? And so uh, a huge focus for us um, really you know, relying on our experience that we've had abroad um, and, and looking at what the market's needs are, a huge focus is that reliability and uptime and making sure that we're there to service our stations very quickly when an issue does arise because it happens. Mm. Um, but we're also, uh, we're also looking to the future. We have a number of really exciting products that we launched in Europe last year and we will be in the process of bringing those to the to the North American space over the coming probably 12, 12 to 18 months. 
Um, so, so keep an eye out for those things. That's exciting. So if we talked about new trends and new technology. How is AI um, impacting? How, how are you guys utilizing that? Or how is that impacting your business right now? Yeah, so 2023 was definitely the year of AI. Yeah. I think uh, that's, that's, really, that's really clear if you ask anybody. Mm. Um, it's interesting how AI has affected a number of aspects of our industry. Uh, of course, as a business, as a company, we are finding ways to, to utilize and integrate mm. AI, whether it's in the arena of customer service or you know, support and, and being able to automate and streamline and scale mm. certain functionalities that are important to any business. Um, but when you look at just the greater explosion of AI uh, overall, um, you know, there, there's a need for more data centers, which creates more demand for electricity which creates new challenges for our grid that frankly, our transmission and distribution grid in North America was already struggling to keep up with the deployment of EV infrastructure. Um, so you had AI data centers on top of that, uh, and it creates an interesting equation for multiple industries to sort of work together and figure out how to solve in tandem. That's awesome. I, I, I know we talked about that at length um, just a bit ago, actually. Yep. It's really interesting your perspective on that. So I'm excited to hear more about you know what EV Box is going to be doing and obviously partnering with you guys and, and really being on the forefront of moving the, the revenue for EV Box. Absolutely. So thank you so much for your time and thank you to Stagwell for having us. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>